There are many types of personal electric vehicles out there, but if you're looking for a one-of-the-kind experience, you buy a one wheel. Now, some people tend to put the one wheel in a category of things like a hoverboard or an electric skateboard or even an EUC. And that has one wheel, but technically it's not a one wheel. And for people like me, it brings this type of board sport nostalgia combined with mind reading technology. And when you look at it like that, it's no wonder one wheel is the fastest growing board sport on the planet. Now, if you're in the market for a one wheel, you probably know there isn't just one type of one wheel. There's actually several, starting with the base model one wheel pint to one wheel pint X and the new flagship one wheel GT. Today, we're gonna go over a few things that will help you decide which one wheel you should buy. So here we have One Wheel Pint X. Gets up to 18 miles per charge, up to 18 miles an hour. And it's got great features like mag handle and the light bar to tell you how much charge you have left during your ride. But we still have the One Wheel GT, the new flagship. And I know somebody that has one of those. Whoa, Yo, ladies up, what's Tyler? good? How's it going, brother? Good to see you. You got a fresh looking one wheel GT right there. Fresh out the box. GT power and torque is next level. It's really noticeable when you stand on it. I really love the bigger tire. Also the tire option, you can either go slick or treaded. Um, just the all around a great board and I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Today, I have created an epic neighborhood route for us to cruise on road, off road, on the sidewalk, off the sidewalk, and ultimately end at a, one of our favorite spots, Cafe Aveda, for a nice little espresso shot. Yes. Um, and then after that, we're gonna switch boards. So I'll ride the GT and you'll ride Pine X and uh, ride back to headquarters and kind of debrief for the folks and just kind of give them some more information on, you know, what board should they buy? Cool. Right I'm on. Game. Let's do it. Yeah, let's go get some coffee and rip. So here's the first section of the route, the apartment complex. You might wake up here one day and decide you want a Pint X or, or a GT. Get around your good old complex, go check the pool. Yeah, and I mean, in a scenario like this, where you just want to cruise around, like, I love the Pine X. We had a tricky one here, Tyler. We need to get up onto the trail over there. And I think there's really either two ways to do it. We have to nudge or uh, pick the board up. So we might as well just try, right? Yeah, let's try now. I've actually never nudged on a Pine X. some trail ripping yeah, this is like, this is a little still in the apartment center which is epic. yeah like this is a hundred percent pine x capable here's here's a here's our first challenge tyler oh well <laughs> good luck with that <laughs> uh, i could i could i could do this all day with a pine x <laughs> 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 that was giving me a little bit of a lean to the right. And as we pull off and go oh. right into another trail section. Oh. 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 oh man. It rips, you know, it's like... Yeah, the nimbleness looks fun. Like, you're just like playful with it. It's just like, kind of like changing the, like your outcome is just like, you can just change it whenever you want. With the GT, you have like a lot more to like move, a lot more board. Oh, for sure. I think 18 mile range is plenty for most people. Um, I think having the GT 32 mile range is a little much, I would say, because 32 miles of riding is, it's exhausting. 
They're both hand-in-hand -hand great horse. Like, they both rip. If you feel like you have FOMO because you should have jumped for the GT oh, yeah. other than the Pine X, um, it's, you know, it, it can hang. It can hang and it can do more than, than you think. Totally. That's for sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, so you get to the coffee shop. You're with your board. You're not going to leave your board by itself outside. No. Carry it. You're going to pick it up. And you're going to carry it. So we're here at local shop Cafe Aveda. And I'm just having a blast riding with you, to be honest. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I just love the idea Whoa. of like when you get off one for me, it's always like I get off the GT, I go to a Pine X, I'm never let down. Mm. And vice versa, you know? So they're so different, but they're the same. Yeah. Whoa. All right, Tyler, the time has come for the great switch. I will take the GT, please. You can enjoy this little pocket rocket. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, wow. What is like your first reaction? Because mine is that I feel like I just got a very warm blanket wrapped around me and like I'm getting cradled in bed right oh, now. Yeah. Pinex is really, really super nimble and I, I love that feeling of just being able to heel toe. It feels like you're really carving deep carves. It's just snappy. Woo! Oh, so Woo! snappy. So snappy. Oh Saved my gosh. it. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Save some for the rest of us. <laughs> Take this right here now, Tyler. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, I feel like with the pipe, you definitely have to be on your toes. Like, it's your you're on your toes, like you're, it's a smaller pad. So you kind of are like, your feet are working a little bit more. Yeah. But I, it's, I think you have more control overall. So kind of like, I would compare it to surfing, like a longboard. That's kind of more of like a longboard feel with the GT. I'm feeling that right yeah, now. Yeah, the shortboard with the Pine X is kind of like, you're, you get that quickiness with it, but you kind of want the stability when the waves are a little bit bigger. So you might want to have a little bit bigger of a board. So same thing with trail riding and yeah. it kind of is hand in hand and both are great. But I mean, ultimately it's up to you and what kind of rider you are looking to do. Riding through this section, Pine X is way more fun. Yeah? That's, that's my- That's your take? That's my take. I feel like with GT, I could kind of put it on cruise control. Yeah. And like, you don't have to worry about anything really as much like the little cracks and bumps in the road. With Pine X, it's like a lot more lively. Yeah, it's more lively. exciting. All right, Tyler. Well, that was a fun little rip sesh we had. I, I had a blast and ultimately, you know, we need to debrief for these folks because they're wondering which one wheel they should buy. So I'm gonna throw out some aspects and uh, places and things people would ride and you're gonna tell me what board you would choose. Okay. All right, go into the coffee shop. Pinex. Running your daily errands around town. Pinex. Seeing one wheel as as a an off-road sport that you're trying to like progress to the next level. GT for sure. Power, power and torque. Everyday board. Mm. Ooh, I got you on this one. Yeah. Pinex, everyday board. It's the quickest out of the house, easiest to carry. I it's I enjoy, I love the Pine X. I love it. If you're maybe looking to find out new areas and new places, you might want to be going for the GT um, just because you're going to be able to get a lot more, a lot further and see a lot more. Um, maybe for something like the Pine X, you kind of know, like you're saying, the burrito run or the grocery store, you kind of have an idea of what you are going to hit and explore on that, on the Pine X, where with the GT, it's kind of like, it's, it's, you got 30 miles, that's a, that's a hard thing to, to kill. I mean, it's a lot of power. I feel like you're not making any bad decision if you're choosing a one wheel. So, bottom line, you're already in the right boat looking at buying either the GT or the Pine X or the Pint. So, just do it already. That's what I would say. Get riding, get the feeling, get stoked.